it was giving her a sense of perspective about what had happened. So by having someone who was calm, who was not being agitated, she could calm down too and see the bigger picture. Which is what happens sometimes, that when we just see this is my boyfriend who's left me, this is my child who's died, this is my job which is someone else has taken, these are my shares which have just all disappeared, this is my team, the Dockers have lost. I'm being fair because I mentioned the Eagles first, now I mentioned the Dockers. <laughs> Sometimes that when we lose perspective, we can actually get emotionally distraught. And that was a very beautiful way that he dealt with that by calming her down to see a bigger picture. Not, not uh, negating her feelings, but acknowledging them, but calming them down. Because you see just how these emotions can get built up, what actually builds them up, or how they create it. I just was uh, at a funeral service this afternoon and I enjoy um, taking funerals because at a funeral service you know you do have a group of people who are emotionally raw, they've just lost a close member of their family or their friend. And it's, I've seen many many times just how grief can be created or how that feeling of grief can be calmed down to get a different emotion coming up. I can actually see that I remember even when my own father died, that I, obviously I knew my mother so well, but when my father died she knew he was going to die. He you know, came very close many times. When he actually did die, she was at ease and peace with it. But it was only when her cousin came in to the house and opened up her arms to my mother and said, Oh, you poor thing. And of course that meant the floodgates of my mother's tears started coming. And I knew that if that cousin hadn't said that stupid thing, my mother would be much more at peace with the death of her husband and my father. 